Good morning to you. If you joined me online yesterday for E Thursday and I spoke about warriors and worship, I said that I would do a proper bite sized video on the principle of hunger. Um, lately, I've been looking at Ezekiel 37, the valley of dry bones, and how there are three ingredients required humility, honor, and the third one was hunger. And I spoke about I think it was last week on the online session, I spoke about acquiring a taste for the goodness of God. And when you have a taste, when you've tasted the goodness of God and you come up um, against, you come up anything, you face anything that is opposing the goodness of God, religion, performance, the whole thing that is not the goodness of God, you can taste it because you've acquired a taste for the goodness of God. So when I speak about hunger, this is, I found this in Matthew chapter 5, where it says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. The word hunger is needy, famished, and to seek eagerly. You can know about Jesus, but, and you can love Jesus, but until you meet him, you can't really be in love with him. There's a difference here. Because a lot of us know, know about him because we've read in the Bible, but we, we have to meet him. We have to seek him. It says here to seek eagerly. When we have a hunger to, for Jesus, it is a promise here, they shall be filled. But it also says, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. The word righteousness is, and I like this, correctness of thinking feeling and acting it's a state of the condition in, in which we are meant to be in relationship with God but it also means correctness of thinking feeling and acting so here's the promise when we are seeking eagerly we recognize we are needy we are famished because we need correctness of thinking feeling and acting there's a promise that we will be filled and to be filled means to overflow to have an abundance it's not just, here's a little tip for you, it's an abundance. So, when you recognize that you were born to be a channel of kingdom impact and influence, you were born, you are here on the planet with an anointing to represent the king and the kingdom, to co-labor with God, to see his power, his glory, his purposes, all come to pass because you have stepped into your purpose. Wherever you are placed, that you represent God. But when we do it from a place of, oh God, I'm hungry. I need you. I am famished without you. <laughs> and when the promise to be filled comes, I'm going to have the right way of thinking I'm going to have the right way of feeling and the right way of acting. You know what that is about? It's looking like Jesus. So are we seeking eagerly how we can be more like Jesus? And how do we do it? By the power of the Spirit. You can't just work harder, try and be better, stop saying the wrong things. We need the Holy Spirit to help us to look like Jesus. But another way that happens is, in Ephesians 4, the fivefold ministry is given to equip the saints for the work of the ministry. So we all come to the, the fullness of the stature of the measure of Christ. We all mature. And we all, what's the fullness of the stature and the measure of Christ? We look like him. We, what does it say? Correctness of thinking, feeling, and acting. So when we are pointed to Jesus by the fivefold ministry, we're being equipped to be filled with righteousness. Hung, because we're hungry and thirsty to be like him. That's what it's all about. Glory is how God reveals himself and how he reveals himself through us. So when we say, God, I'm hungry, I'm needy, I'm famished, I, I seek eagerly a touch from you, he's going to fill us. And we are going to be able to represent him the way he needs to be represented today. Because there's a whole world out there who are seeking in different ways and places for truth. They don't even know they're searching for truth. But there's deep hunger inside of them and a thirst inside of them to meet Jesus. 
And you and I are here to do just that, to be those channels of influence, to influence people, to point them to Jesus, because we look like him. That's what this whole being transformed from glory to glory is all about. We're being equipped, we're being taught and, and by the Holy Spirit as we study the word and as we spend time in the presence of God, we're being transformed from glory to glory to represent him, to look like him. So my prayer for you today is that you will say, God, I'm hungry for righteousness. And your promise is that I will be filled. I'm hungry. I'm eagerly seeking you. I want to fall more in love with Jesus than ever before so that I can go out there and represent him well. Not just what I think he would do. You know, what would Jesus do? It's always good to think that. But so that just as I go out there and I live my life, I'm representing him well because people can see that I'm in love with Jesus. And I lay down all my my plans, my strengths, I lay them down to receive his strength and his purposes for my life. So I pray today that you will be able to go to God and say, God, I'm hungry. I believe you're going to fill me. And your thinking changes and your feelings change. And the way you act, the way you behave, the way you respond, all changes because God has filled your hunger. So be blessed with that today. And I will see you soon again. Have a great weekend.